Hi, this is Andy Barclay with Remax Elite, and today we are visiting 557 Capri Drive in Cocoa Beach, Florida. This is a four bedroom, two bath home that is just over 2,300 square feet under air and just over 3,000 square feet under roof. Uh, it's in the Cocoa Isles section of Cocoa Beach. And as you can see, as I pan around, it's a beautiful neighborhood. Now you can't tell yet, but this house is located directly on the Banana River, and it has a view that's second to none. Uh, we're actually going to walk inside and do something I don't typically do. Uh, usually I like to show you the house first, but this view is so amazing, I think it demands our attention first. Uh, as you can see, we just walked through the front door, and before we get out there, I do want to point out a couple things quickly. Uh, we have a terrazzo floor throughout the home that was just diamond ground and polished. It's in fantastic shape. Uh, the entire house was painted, including the ceiling, so you have nice fresh paint. Uh, many other things were recently done that I'll show you as we go throughout the home. But my point is it's move-in ready and uh, very, very clean and ready to go. So as we go through the slider, you can see already the view out back is absolutely amazing. Uh, we have a screened porch that is, I want to say, just about 17 by 12. Uh, we have 120 feet on the Indian River here. We have a screen that closes very well. So I'm going to walk down to the boat dock here to show you this absolutely amazing view. And keep in mind, while you're looking here, not only is it amazing during the daytime, but you have absolutely breathtaking sunsets this direction. So as you can see, we are direct river. Uh, there are a few islands between here and the river, but it's very easy to get out through this channel right in front of us. Uh, many of the surrounding homes do have boats. The seawall is in great shape. And as I turn, you can see the trees in the backyard and the house itself. I think there's room in the backyard for a pool if you would like to add one. So we have a nice cool breeze today in Cocoa Beach, so I apologize if I'm a little hard to hear. But just an absolutely gorgeous March day in Florida. So the exterior of the home, as you can see, was also uh, freshly painted recently and is in great shape. Before we head back inside, I'd like to take a second just to show you that we have accordion shutters for the large sliders here. And when we get into the garage, I'll show you that we have uh, hurricane shutters for the rest of the windows. So even though we don't like to think about hurricanes, and typically we don't get them in the area, they're nice to have because they'll actually save on your homeowner insurance. If you have something called a wind mitigation study done, you can save a significant amount on your home insurance if you have quality hurricane shutters as this home does. So we've walked back into the main living area. That is the front door that we walked in just a minute ago. We are in the formal living and formal dining part of the home. As I said at the beginning of the video, this is a four bedroom, two bath home. It is a split floor plan, <clears throat> meaning that the master bedroom is separate from the other bedrooms. If we were to go down the hallway to the right, uh, we would go to the three bedrooms and a full bath. 
If we were to go to the left, which we are going to do first, you go through this opening, <coughs> excuse me, that has a pocket door so you can close it off. And you enter into the main living area with the kitchen on the left. And then as I turn to my right, you can see we have this huge family room with an, again, an absolutely amazing view of the river. I don't like to overuse the word amazing, but it really is amazing. I see a lot of houses in Cocoa Beach, <clears throat> and few have a view like this. So if you just imagine yourself waking up in the morning, making your coffee in the kitchen, and stepping out to a view like this, I think it's easy to see how you could call this house your home. So the screen porch there, slider out to the porch. So on the screen it may be a little difficult to get the uh, scale of this room. This family room is 15 feet across and it's 22 feet deep until you hit the kitchen. Once you hit the kitchen, you have another 16 feet to the wall. So really we're talking a room that's almost 40 feet long and about, uh, about 12 feet wide. And when I say 12, I actually meant 15. <laughs> so 15 feet wide. So plenty of space in the kitchen. We have the uh, nice island here. All of the appliances are staying with the home. So you get the refrigerator, the washing uh, dishwasher, the smooth top range, and the double, actually the oven and the microwave there. Now we're going to work our way into the garage. I want to show you a neat feature about the house after that, and then we'll head into the master bedroom. You can see we have an apply, a utility room on our right. We'll head there in just a moment. But before we do, I'd like to show you a couple things out here in the garage. Uh, typically, it's not the highlight of the home, but we do have a two-car side-load garage in this house with a newer garage door with the windows. So not only do we have the windows in the garage door, we have them on the side here. We also have a door out to the side yard, so you have a lot of light and a lot of functionality in here. We have a newer air handler. We have a hot water heater. I think it's about a year old. And most importantly, we have a brand new electric panel. Uh, there was nothing wrong with the old electric panel, but the sellers wanted to freshen up the home and make it as desirable as they could. Knowing that some of the older panels can cause uh, funding issues and insurance issues. They just went ahead and put a brand new electric panel in the house, as well as new electrical outlets. So that's going to be really nice for the next uh, homeowner here. So we have the hurricane shutters in the garage. Off to the left, we're back in the utility room. We have the washer and dryer that stay. But on the other side, we have something you don't typically see. Uh, the sellers are the original owners, and they had this house built to their specifications. And it was very important to them, when they had the home built, that they had an indoor craft room. So that's what you're looking at here. It's a six foot by 10 foot room. It has a pocket door, and it's off the utility room but it has a light, it is under air, and it has its own window. So whether you're a scrapbooker or you'd like to use it as a workshop, uh, really anything that you'd like to use it for, it's a feature you won't see in a lot of homes that I think is really neat. Pretty smart to have that designed that way. So back in the main living area, uh, I told you that this is a split floor plan which means the master bedroom is not connected to the other bedrooms. This house was built, like many houses in this area, back in the 1960s. 
Uh, you don't typically see a split floor plan in a 60s era home. So it's again a nice feature to have. Uh, you can see I'm showing you that we have the shower in the bathroom. We have the countertop and the commode. And then as I back up, you'll see that we actually have three closets here. We have the closet in front of us, we have a closet off to the left of us, and then we have a third closet off to the right. So lots of storage in the bedroom, plenty of closet space. And as I continue to back up, I'm going to pan to the right, you can see that in the master bedroom, we actually have a separate vanity that is uh, really, it's pretty neat. Uh, not only can one person get ready in the morning, but with this here, you can have the second person getting ready at the same time. And then of course, we don't want to forget if you were sitting in bed, this view is what you would be looking out upon. Did I use the word amazing yet? <laughs> it really is a great view. So just giving you one more look at the master bedroom. So we're now going to move through the family room through the formal living and dining, down the hallway to the three remaining bedrooms and the bathroom that we haven't looked at yet. So we've now reached the other end of the home. Uh, on the left-hand side, we have the first of the three bedrooms. This bedroom looks out on the river. It's a good-sized closet. Now, we don't have the ceiling fan in here, but you could easily put a ceiling fan in any of these rooms with a light kit. Across the hallway, we have a double vanity, so two people can get ready in the morning at the same time. And it's nice that we have the commode on the other side of this doorway. We also have a tub with a shower, so it's uh, very functional. If two people need to get ready at once, somebody can have some privacy in the back, and somebody else can use the vanity up front. We are now looking in the third bedroom. I don't think, well I know I have mentioned that the terrazzo floor has been freshly diamond ground and polished. What I haven't mentioned is, amazingly, there are no cracks in the floor that I've seen. Uh, typically, you see some cracking, some settling in these terrazzo floors. But this floor has really withstood the test of time and just looks amazing in person. I'm sure it looks good on the screen, but it looks even better in person. So here we are in the last bedroom. As you can see, like the uh, second bedroom and the master bedroom, just a beautiful view. Absolutely beautiful view. So just to recap, uh, today we're visiting 557 Capri Drive in Cocoa Beach, Florida. This house is a four bedroom, two bath home that's 2,328 square feet under air but 3,000 square feet under roof. So lots of space here. Have the brand new electric panel, 
brand new outlets, uh, fresh paint, both on the walls and the ceiling. Lots of other work has been done. The house truly is move-in ready, fresh and clean and beautiful. And not only is the house in great shape, but you have this view that's just phenomenal. And in fact, I just saw a dolphin, so I'm going to quickly walk out toward the dock again. And we are going to patiently wait here at the end of the video to see if he resurfaces or she resurfaces. Even if it... Oh, there we go. Uh, even if it doesn't, you now know that there's all kinds of wildlife out here. Just a fun place to live. So I certainly did not intend this to turn into a nature video, but one of the amazing things about living in Cocoa Beach is you get to see stuff like this all the time. We have manatees, we have dolphin, all kinds of wildlife, birds, fish, you name it. It's just a beautiful place to live. So there you have it. Today we visited 557 Capri Drive in Cocoa Beach, Florida. My name is Andy Barclay, and I'm a realtor with Remax Elite in Cocoa Beach, Florida. If you would like more information about this house or any other house in Cocoa Beach, you can give me a call at 321-514-9862, or you can email me at andy at thinkandy.com. Thanks for watching.